with Dr. Ariane from the Movement Paradigm. Did you know that stress can inhibit the vagus nerve? And when we are stressed, we are activating our sympathetic nervous system, so that fight or flight system. That sympathetic nervous system we can actually access through our viscera. We are able to do specific visceral techniques on ourselves that can downregulate the sympathetic nervous system so that we can upregulate that vagus nerve that is really the key and the cornerstone of our parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and digest system. Stress can affect us in so many ways, but let's specifically speak to how it affects our viscera. So stress can inhibit the vagus nerve, and the vagus nerve is actually what is innervating our entire digestive tract. So if we are stressed, our blood flow is moving away from the digestive system, if we're in that sympathetic state, and therefore we are not able to digest, assimilate, and even eliminate our food as well as we should. Additionally, if we have high vagal tone, then we are going to have a really good protective epithelial or gut barrier. If we don't, if we are in that constant fight or flight system, then unfortunately we don't have that protective barrier, which can contribute to things like leaky gut, intestinal permeability, IBS, and even IBD, inflammatory bowel disease. So what can you do about it? This is a visceral technique that you can once again do on yourself and it is down-regulating that sympathetic nervous system. So that is the specific target. So we are going to target the celiac plexus, the superior mesenteric plexus, and the inferior mesenteric plexus. So if we start from here, we're going about an inch under the xiphoid process, which is this bone here. That's gonna be our celiac plexus. We go down between our xiphoid process and our belly button halfway, that is going to be a superior mesenteric plexus, and then about an inch over the umbilicus is going to be the inferior. And so those are gonna be our three contact points for this release. So while you're lying down, you wanna assess each of these three areas. So you're gonna assess for temperature, any type of edema or tenderness in each of these areas. So wherever you notice any kind of restriction, it doesn't feel as elastic as the other tissue, where you might feel that, that it feels a little swollen or it feels really sore, then that's the area that you want to address. As with any type of release, you actually want to have a very gentle approach, especially with the viscera. So we are manipulating fascia, which does not need to be aggressive. So you want to be very intentional about your technique and your pressure, but not aggressive. So this is a great opportunity, I believe, for you to tune in to your own body and to your own viscera. We want to think of all of this information that's coming from the viscera up to the brain quite a bit. So as you're assessing, really try to tune into what's happening in your body before you perform the technique. As you move through the technique, you're going to find those key areas that you want to release and you're holding each spot. So you can use both fingers and just really sink into the tissue. You can go one over top of the other or really just sink into it this way. And you're holding that until you feel one of those shifts in what you're assessing. So is there a decrease in tenderness? Does it feel like there's less swelling around the area or edema? Is it more elastic? So you can really assess for any change in the tissue or does it feel like just a sense of relaxation? So that could feel like a sigh, a swallow, a yawn, or just a sense of calmness in your body. Just like always, after you perform the technique, reassess to see how that tissue feels. And if you'd like, you can reinforce that with some diaphragmatic breathing to upregulate that parasympathetic nervous system even more. This can be a great technique to do before you go to bed. This can be a great technique to do before you eat. And if you have gut issues, I would say absolutely incorporate this into your routine. All right, if this was helpful, please give it a like, give it a share, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement.